Hey, how you doing? This is Captain Energy of Captain Energy Music. Today, I would like to talk to you about a little problem I ran into recently with Cubase. The other day, while I was watching uh, the Club Cubase Hangout with Greg Undo, I thought to myself, you know, I haven't purchased any, any loops in a while. I think I'll jump to another window and buy some loops. So I went to the Steinberg site and they have several kits. And there were a couple that kind of, I thought, hey, well, there's one in Urban and one in Progressive House. Sample kits, they're about, you know, three gig a piece or something like that. And I thought, yeah, that's cool. Let's, let's get those. So I purchased them. I downloaded them and then I installed them. I got the serial numbers from Steinberg as usual and I associated them with my e-licensor. And uh, then I started Cubase up and expected that they would be listed in the media bay, which is right here. This is the media bay. Um, and lo and behold, they were not. I looked everywhere for these files and they were nowhere. Um, I thought at first, what the heck, man, I paid money for these. Where are my sound files? So throughout the course of the, uh, the club Cubase hangout, I decided, all right, I'm just going to mess around with this and I'll listen, but I'm not going to be really doing much with that. Just try to figure it out. Well, I couldn't figure it out. So I decided I would ask Greg. So I posted my question because that's what the purpose of the club Cubase hangout is, is that if you have questions, you can ask. Um, I was just ready to tear my hair out. And Greg said that he had run into this recently as well. And there's a DB file, uh, something about a DB file. And he couldn't remember which one it was or where it was, but you needed to do something with that. And if I sent him an email, he would tell me which one it was and what to do. I guess it sounded like it was too involved for him to get, get into it online at that point. So... I'm not a very patient person. Uh, Greg's a great guy, and I appreciated the information he gave me, but now that he gave me a thread, I was going to pull on it. So I just um, started looking through folders, and and, uh, and lo and behold, I did find the file. Um, jump over here real quick to my Windows Explorer. And in here, you're going to see that I have... Uh, as we look down, we're looking for files with the extension .db, like database, okay? So, easy way to do that, once you're here, let me tell you what this is exactly so you know where I'm looking. It's on, on my computer, it's on Drive C, Users, MMDev, that's my username um, on my computer, uh, App Data, Roaming, Steinberg, and then Cubase with, it has the version of Cubase. I have 10.5 revision 64, I guess, uh, right here. And uh, once you're in there, you can go over to this window right here, this little search Cubase 10.5, this in the right with the uh, magnifying glass. If you just type in asterisk or the star dot DB, It will show you all the files with the DB extension to them. Now, what we need to do before we do anything here is we need to close Cubase. I'm going to go over here real fast. I'm just going to close it because what happens and what I think might actually be the problem is that when Cubase is open, this file, this right here, Media Bay 3, is locked. You can't touch it, you can't delete it, you can't write to it. So I think that when Cubase is open, if you try and install sounds or any other Steinberg product is open and you try and install sounds, it just won't let you because this file is off limits. So what you got to do is shut down your Steinberg applications. Go over here, find Media Bay 3 in the folder I just, just told you about. Um, okay. And we're just going to hit delete. Right click it. Select delete. And you see the file is now gone. Okay. Um, all right. So now I'm going to go over to Cubase, which I have right down here in my taskbar, as you can see right here. I'm going to hit that. It's going to restart. Now, once it restarts, we can either create a new project or load a project just like usual. I'm going to hit create new create empty 
boom, there we go, we're in there. Now, when I go to my loops and samples, open pretty quickly, but now I'm gonna get this loading type icon. Now this is gonna be up here for a while, almost a minute, maybe two minutes in some cases, depending on your computer speed probably, how many samples you have. It could take as long as it takes to find everything. Once it's done, it's gonna create a new database file that will have pointers to all the files that are, are relevant. Um, just gonna skip ahead to when it's complete. And there we go. Now that it has rebuilt all the files here, you can see the two that I said that I couldn't find before. Here's Progressive House, here's the Urban one. So that's it. I hope this helped someone out. Uh, you may need to use this again in the future if you buy additional samples if they don't show up. It's a great trick to have or to know about because uh, somebody you know who uses Cubase is going to eventually add samples and run into this. If you have any additional questions, feel free to forward them to me. Um, I'm going to try and put videos up at least once a week with tips, tricks, reviews of software and hardware, um, and music production tips and, and tricks as well. So uh, if there's anything you want to know about specifically, feel free to let me know uh, in the comments below, and I will try to answer your question. My primary DAWs, just so you guys know, are Reason, Logic, and Gadget from Korg. Those are the, uh, the th four DAWs that I mostly play around with. Uh, Reason and uh, Cubase are my main uh, DAWs. So if there's anything I can do for any of you, let me know. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you really liked this video and want to know about more of them, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to click the alerts button so that you'll know when my next video comes out. Thank you very much for stopping by and have a great day. Now go make some music.